Okay, my name is Luis, and I'm gonna let you know some lessons that I learned when I first started using the Lunt 50 millimeter solar dedicated H alpha telescope. The first time I used it, I had problem with the focus. Focusing, I tried to focus, use the helical focuser back and forth, um, using the pressure tuner. And I got a circle, but still it was not focused. It was a blurry circle. I spent about two hours and some along the lines, two hours. And at least I get to that point, I save my settings in SharkCap so I can come back, think about the mistake, do some little research. Then uh, I just went to Cloudy Night. One comment there, the person was mentioning to move back the blocking filter. Originally, it was all the way in to the telescope. And then all I have to do is move it back. And that's why I got this tape. So I can have a mark there when I put it back in. So, uh, let me put it back in here real quick. That's my mark there. Once I did that simple step, voila! I saw the sun nice. Uh, start focusing using the helical focuser. Sunspots came very nice because I can see the whole disc. Then I was playing with the pressure tuner and the more I start pressing it, slowly but surely the details they come, they start coming up. For example, the filaments, uh, the actual, um, in the chromosphere, more details, you know, like that little raggedy uh, details that you see in top of the sun. I was like, wow, man, this is pretty cool. So the second time I used it, all I did was adjusting this and I I just pull it back. I was improvising, I wasn't even trying. I just pull it back, it started working right there. And then playing with the pressure tuner. And what I learned in the pressure tuner, once you start pressing it a little bit more harder, harder, it comes to a point that if you press it too, too much, you're gonna see like the image is gonna get a little degraded. But once you put it, uh, screw it back a little bit, back a little bit, then you see and you can tell that look nice. So that's all I want to say about this. Um, the second, the first time I used it, it was not successful. But then the second time I used it, I followed the instructions about the blocking filter, just slide it back a little bit, and voila, the image came nice. Of course, I need to practice more on the processing and stuff like that post-processing and get it more nice and stuff like that. And uh, just to give you a quick limp, uh, 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 gl glimpse, right here is my, my picture right there. I don't know if you can see the details there well. Oh, right there, you see the solar prominence right there. So it's, ah, I just wanna share that with you. If you have any questions uh, or comments, whatever you wanna do, just post it. And uh, I'll be I'll be happy to help you out. You take care. Thank you very much.